These lyrics suck. What's wrong? I'm trying to get new fans, so I'm writing songs about gay people. But I don't want to write something corny like, you better work, bitch. Recording saved to future ideas folder. Ooh, you should start saying pause up or something corny like that. Oh, good one. I'll have those suckers hook, line, and sinker. But I suck at writing. I'm totally stressed. I thought on my feet and looked for any opportunity for sabotage. Oh, well, hey, I have this really cool powder. You put it in your nose and you're all better. I'll bring you some. Oh my God, thank you. I guess we're not all perfect. My mother told me when I was young that we were all born superstars. <gasps> That's it. I'll just copy my mom, Madonna. Hey, students, be quiet. Talk quietly like this. You always talk like that, Vice Principal Janet. Good thinking, Tailgate. Mother Monster is going down. Hi. Thank you. Hey, sexy back. You look like a crack-addicted prostitute. That's like always been my fetish. This blows. It's been three days, and all we've done is start Gaga, a new fashion trend. Why did we think we could do this? We're not Ashton Kutcher. What are Moo Moo bars? Oh, they're nutrition bars. My mom gave them to our cows back in Tennessee to make them gain weight. They're these weird nutrition bars my mom uses to lose weight. <gasps> Gimme it. It's all written in, like, redneck or something. Mm, I want to look like that Nicole Richie girl. Um, but why? You're so skinny. Skinny legend. Ugh, shut up. While we were busy sabotaging Lady Gaga's career, I got tired of waiting for my one true love, John Mayer, to fall in love with me, so I acted swiftly. No pun intended. I kept that PMZ paper from a week ago and slid it into John's locker. <laughs> Aw, he keeps little guitars on his locker. What a dreamboat. Okay, maybe I am crazy. What? Johnny, I just got my check from my label. And did you see firework on the billboard charts? We're done, Katie. You're so gay. Well, if it isn't my favorite little niece, or should I say famous little niece, Pumpkin, you are on just about every goddamn ham radio I got in my plantation. I, I mean house. Thanks, Aunt Paula. Back in Tennessee, no one cared about my Fearless album, and now I'm a pop queen. About that. You dizzy chicks need some meat on your bones. Here. Be sure to share some with Lady Gala and Kathy, but but not the other two. OMG. Gaga's face was growing bullhorns. I guess Moo Moo bars aren't for humans. Hey Kitty, where's John? And why is this goofy bloke Russell here? So breaking story. Ahem. 
I said breaking f***ing story! So John Mayer and I broke up. Again. And I'm marrying Russell Brand! Woohoo! She's the love of me life, alright? Pip pip cheerio and all that buggery. <gasps> it worked! John broke up with Katie. This was my chance. Don't even think about talking to that man, Taylor. If John was in our lunch period, I'd ask him out right now. I couldn't wait for Mrs. Spears' class. Hello, girls. I'd like to ask that you reconsider making me a pop queen. Um, excuse me, child? Who is you again? I'm Adele, and as you can see, my album is still number one on Billboard. That's the requirements, I gather. Adele, sweetie, how do I put this? You may be popular on the charts, pretty, can sing well enough, but you're just not our type of pop queen. I beg your pardon? Girls, maybe we can put her on a strict diet. You will never be a pop queen. Why on heavenly earth not? Because you're British, and we can't have another Spice Girls invasion. <gasps> How could Lady Gaga treat Adele like that? Is this what drugs and fame do to people? Stephanie Dorling, your monster ball tour is selling through the roof! We're stinking rich! Mom, leave now, you're so embarrassing. I hope none of you flops are touring this winter break, because everyone will be at my daughter Lady Gaga's tour. And I will, too, because I'm a mother, Madonna. Ugh, mother of monster. Because we are living in a material world. Okay, girls, let's see who's in the flop book today. <laughs> um, so... Sorry, not sorry. 